Severe weather team coverage continues live in Cranston now with Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin. Eric. Shannon and Mike, between downed trees and damaged mil buildings, like you said, many are still recovering, and that's all happening as another storm is now just hours away. Driving through our area, it's not hard to find evidence of the previous two storms. A tree fell onto the bed of this truck in Seekonk. A tree had also fallen into the Seekonk Public Library. The damage doesn't look bad from the outside, but inside, it's much more clear. Books covered in plastic and tarp, roughly 100 ceiling tiles, now gone. About a 40 by 40 foot square section of the roof uh, had about 50 punctures in it. Library director Peter Fuller says water then leaked in, damaging a couple hundred books. Temporary patches are now on the roof, but because of the impending storm, the area of fiction books damaged is staying blocked off. And we're very lucky we didn't lose any computer equipment or anything like that. So. 